Hello everyone, welcome to our humble abode in the mountains of Colorado. This week has been an interesting one as we were about to receive our biggest snowstorm of the year and maybe even our biggest snowstorm of the decade. The snow had started falling the day before, so our morning started slowly where we had to light up a fire to warm up the house and as usual I would prepare our fresh juices for the day in our morning smoothies. Where we live in the mountains, we normally get our biggest snowfalls in March and April, so the blizzard wasn't such a surprise. And we were in fact quite happy with the coming of the snow as it would bring nice humidity on the land for the warmer seasons to come. And living close to nature has taught us that every season has a purpose and it is a part of something bigger. So winter may seem a little long sometimes, but without the water that it brings to nature, the mountains would then be dangerously dry, so it is all in perfect order. Also, as the cold season is about to end, we appreciate these last bits of snow as it allows us to nest a little longer in our cozy home and do the things we love to do inside. Things like cooking, reading, writing, sitting by the wood stove. Little did we know at that time that we would have to nest for many days in a row before being able to get out again. And we would as well have to shovel more than we had ever shoveled before. The joy of living in the forest where the elements sometimes dictates how your days are going to be. Yeah, the blizzard outside is continuing. It's very beautiful and intense. Travis, well we, I guess, but Travis is in action in that way, is in snow mode. Um, when we have this amount of snow, it happens that the, the water cuts and the, the electricity, so then the pump for the water doesn't work. So we're gonna fill up like gallons of water and make sure that we have some water. We're gonna clean all the dishes because we haven't done it yesterday night and he doesn't, right now everything is all right, but we have gallons of water also for, um, flushing the toilet if needed and uh, yeah just be prepared we have plenty of food this is all right but it's more about yeah water uh, having water on hand so yeah given that we have so much snow and this time of year and the snow is still coming down really hard the snow can break trees which can break power lines and so we always want to have like an extra you know 10 if not 15 gallons of drinking water and usually fill up three or four buckets of uh you know just water for you know flushing toilets or you know other needs um always good to have extra water on hand i've had uh, the longest time was 42 hours without power, so of course that means uh, no heat beside the fireplace while we cut our own wood and no running water. So 
you got to yeah. make sure to have extra on hand to accommodate. Yeah, so we charge our little uh, Bluetti battery, solar battery, right? Yeah, we have our solar battery, you know, which actually charges either in the car by AC or by solar. And of course, there's no solar today in the middle of a blizzard. So we uh, plug it in and charge it. And that way we can, you know, for emergency LED lighting and uh, phone, you know, gadgets, phones, iPads, stuff like that also. Yeah, that's good. Heavy metal detox moody in the making, cilantro, spinach, banana, bl blueberries. I put we put some shaga in it because we have tons of shaga, which is a medicinal mushrooms and spirulina by grassroots powder and dulse, which is a seaweed. So we're gonna blend that. That's our breakfast. I really love it. Santé. <laughs> so you were supposed to go to town. Do you think you're going to go? I don't think it's possible with the snow right now. Um, I'm going to try to call an order into a discount at a store that we have today. Had some banking to do and a few errands to run, but uh, our plow guy has not come yet. We have probably over two feet of snow in the driveway at this point in time, so <laughs> I think it's a snow day. Yeah, we call it the snow day. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to cut all. Travis did all the dishes. We had a lot. We have a tendency of not doing the dishes at night, doing it the next day, so. And you're having lunch, my sweetest. Some potatoes with some greens, apples, and some homemade salsa. Wonderful. Where are you going this late in the night? Going out to shovel a little snow and get some firewood. <laughs> did it stop? Did it? Did it? Did it stop snowing? I don't think it stopped. No. Mm. And it's quite cold out, so. Going out in the cold is never that big of a deal as long as you have the right gear to do it. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard to see, but it's like four foot, almost three foot. <laughs> yeah, get the car. 
The appropriate shoes. This is very high, <laughs> and the car is totally buried. Now. Much. A man and his shovel. Travis was digging for a box of nice firewood. Good job! <laughs> you win tonight. <laughs> The driveway is covered with a, a meter, more than a meter of snow, and our car is clearly covered with snow, so I don't know when we will be able to get out.
snow has already become quite heavy and wet, so uh, lots of uh, arm muscle that we will use today, I think, especially to get the car out of there. And the snow plow hasn't come yet. Last uh, yesterday we rode to him and he, like his wife, rode back saying that he had been working from 10 p.m. to 6 p.m. the next day. So, and he could never reach us. So that's why we are still covered with a meter of snow. But yeah, let's see what we can do by ourselves. It's difficult to know where to start. Okay guys, I feel to say that it's very tiring. <laughs> That's heavy snow and yeah, I guess I just need little breaks in between like this. Travis will come also uh, soon because he was doing the dishes and he had other things to do inside the house. But he's been saying since the beginning of the day, we should go outside and plow, be be like shovel before it gets very heavy. We didn't come on time, I think, but that's all right. is doing the dishes before taking the second shift with plowing well the third shift since she did the first one yesterday and then I just did an hour an hour and a half of plowing shoveling and <laughs> Trav will be on the next one right <laughs> joy it's becoming heavier and heavier at every minute and I'm wet from head to toe Are you excited? Yeah. I am super excited to go move a bunch of heavy wet snow. Yes, this is so awesome. It's like pl it's playing in the snow. <laughs> and just have fun. Let yourself do uh, some snow angels and stuff like that. It's good exercise. It is. <laughs> Get her done. Yeah. Tonight we are having some kind of a oops, lasagna soup 
So instead of making a lasagna, we just broke down the noodles and it's an Instapot, so it's so easy. You put it in and you forget about it. Plus, we have some bread that was in the freezer. We're emptying a little bit of our freezer because we're going on the trip. So we're gonna eat that with it. Okay, so a little update. I don't know if you see behind me, that's the snow. It's melting a little bit, so it's getting heavier. But we have our neighbor, because it's been two days now, three days that we cannot get out. And our neighbor has a little snow plower, snow blower. And we're gonna use the, because uh, our driveway is about 300 meters long. <laughs> so we'll take the snowshoes and just walk in that big snow and go meet the neighbor and then we can open the, the driveway. Travis is gonna take care of this. Um, we'll accompany him for a second and then come back inside because we are making some food. <laughs> I keep going with the recipe. But yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. Travis just wrote saying that he's coming back from the neighbors that was supposed to um, borrow his plow, like his uh, snowblower, because it's not working. So I guess we're going to have to wait until it gets uh, melted. And it's supposed to be nice in this three, four days. Like for those that are like more Nordic, like snow falls and it stays. But here in Colorado, it normally melts. So yeah, I was helping to prepare the ingredients for a good uh, mung dal, Spartan mung dal, Indian mung dal dish. But I was just gonna go see if Travis is coming back. Hey, my love. What's going on? Did you tr you had the snow blower and it didn't work? Yeah, I got like 30 feet in our driveway and like, how long that was. Nice there. Yeah, it's it's so dense and heavy and it's way deeper than what this that snow blower is only uh, like 18 inches. So the oh. snow is like twice as tall, so all you can do is just cut, 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 and it's just hard. Uh, yeah. It would be days to be able to get this. So doesn't work the same after when it's already a no. meter thick and now once it gets dense like it is didn't have issues with this the snowshoes huh were the snowshoes okay okay i probably would have preferred the others but... okay i mean i know these are good for 
deeper snow, but the snow is so dense that uh, I think the shorter shoes will probably almost be better. Mm. Thanks for trying. I cut the carrots, celery, squash. I'm cutting the garlic now and ginger. Good. You're cute. <laughs> With your discouragement face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Beautiful mountains. Do you see that? This is a snow flower that is finally coming to our home after three days. And you see there is still half a meter of snow, so impossible to get out. Thanks to the neighbors who organized that, because all of them are stuck. Like the, our road is uh, one mile long. It's a private road, and it was blocked. There was a seven feet tall like a pile of snow at the entrance, so everything was just covered. Uh, well, one maybe four feet for the rest of the road, but then there was absolutely no neighbor that could get out, and uh, they organized something. And now we have some nice people coming and helping. So that's amazing. That's the exciting moment of the week! <laughs> so, what's going on? We're finally getting plowed after uh, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Five days being completely snowed in. So it's kind of exciting. That's our happy moment of the week. <laughs> Give me a little dance. <laughs> hey, Mita. Okay, with the snowblower? Yeah. Okay, well, I he got me up to like where my plow truck is, but I mean, this this is thick back here and still a long way. Um So finally, the plow guy just went to the entrance of our driveway, so we still have a long, long way to go. Either we wait for it to melt, or we might use our friend's vehicle here, because we have to pick him up at the airport tomorrow, and it's closer from the gate there than our car. So yeah, interesting. Travis is trying the best he can to find someone to come and plow the rest, but let's see. So basically what we're trying to do is to <laughs> shovel down to the fence that are there because this is where the snow plow, the snow truck, the plow truck uh, stopped pushing, like stop uh, plowing earlier. So <laughs> that's like, how many meters is that though? 20? Anyway, it's still deep, as you can see.
most shoveling I've done in many years. Need to. By the end of the fifth day, we were finally free. I feel to say that despite this challenging situation, we were actually very grateful that the electricity never went out like it has in the past during this type of storms. So it made our life so much easier. And even though we were left to shovel as much as we had to for so many days in a row and got very sore doing so, it was somehow rewarding and humbling to have to dig our way out of our property. All that said, in life, we have the option to perceive things differently. So this challenge presented an opportunity to be present and enjoy the experience. And we gain a whole lot of exercise doing so and good memories as well. So it is all in perfection. The ocean's tides can live without the moon And darling, the same goes for me and you Let's go slow Living in the moment is the only truth, but let's go slow. It's the first time I get out in the last six days because of the snow. But as you can see, it's starting to melt. It's muddy here, but in our driveway, we still have a foot and a half on like half of our driveway. Apart from like even like with what we shovel. So. Yeah, we cannot get our vehicle out, but our friend's vehicle is accessible if needed. And tomorrow we're going to get our pickup truck back. It's been at the garage for a week and a half preparing for our trip for the tropics. It feels good to be outside. It's 7 degrees today and it's warm. And it's been sunny all day, so we're catching the last afternoon sun. Let's go slow. Living in the moment is the only truth But let's go slow mm. Living in the moment is the only truth But let's go slow mm.